In this lesson, we're going to look at how do we determine the factored form from information about a specific parabola. Uh, in the previous lesson, <clears throat> what we did is we looked at how do we determine some different characteristics from factored form. So how do we, for example, in this question that I'm circling in orange, how do you go from the factored form of x minus 4 times x plus 1 to knowing that the x-intercepts are negative 1 and positive 4? a y-intercept of 0, negative 4, and that it opens up. Uh, you may want to look at that lesson if you missed it or if you missed some of the information. Uh, in this part, which is part D, which is out, a little bit out of order, I don't know why I went jump straight to part D, we're going to go from information backwards to the factored form. So let me show you a few things. What we learned is that the x-intercepts are always opposite. So this x-intercept here which is negative 2 and 0, and this x-intercept here, which is 6 and 0, are always the opposites of the values r and s. Okay, so given that we have x-intercepts of negative 2 and 6, we know at the moment that we have x plus 2 and x minus 6 as our factors. And you can look at that from the previous lesson if you'd like to. The more difficult part of these questions is coming up with the coefficient. What we did learn <clears throat> is we know that it's going to be positive because this function opens up. Okay? But what we don't know is, is it positive 1? Is it positive 2? Is it positive a half? Is it positive 4? Uh, we need to actually know the value of that coefficient. And the way that we find out the value of the coefficient a, so r and s are easier to come up with than the coefficient a, is we take some point on this parabola other than the x-intercepts and substitute it into the, the function to determine a. So let's take this value, for example. So we're going to use this as our through point or our substitution point okay maybe I'll call it my substitution point so that point there is the point 0 and negative 6 so if I substitute 0 and negative 6 that's going to help me determine the value of a or my coefficient so what I'm doing here is substituting 0 in for x in both x spots and negative 6 in for y so I'd have negative 6 is equal to a, and we're going to do a few of these, times 0 plus 2 times <clears throat> 0 minus 6. Now we're going to simplify, so we have this here. So it's a times 2 times negative 6, which is negative 12a. Okay. <clears throat> and at this point, to solve for a, you would divide by your coefficient negative 12. Okay, so at this point we have that a is equal to negative 6 over negative 12, or in other words, a is equal to 1 half. Because that's the reduced form of negative 6 over negative 12. So our final answer here is that our factored form would be y is equal to a, the coefficient is a half, and we know that the factors are x plus 2 and x minus 6 based on the x-intercept. So there's our factored form. Uh, let's do a couple more. The next one says the parabola has x-intercepts of 1 and 3 and a y-intercept of negative 3. Uh, if you're a visual learner, you may want to visualize this. So we've got x-intercepts of 1 and, th 1 and 3 and a y-intercept of negative 3. Okay, so we've got 1, 0 and 3, 0 and we've got a y-intercept of negative 3, so 0 and negative 3. And if you were to graph this, based on those points, you know that it opens down. So from our x-intercepts, we know that our function would be y is equal to a times x minus 1 and x minus 3. Because those values are opposite the x-intercepts. So if it's 1 and 3, then your factors are x minus 1 and x minus 3. Now, what we do know regarding the value of this coefficient, we know that it's negative but we don't know exactly what the value is. So what we're going to do is substitute 0, negative 3 into our function. So substitute 0 and negative 3 uh, in order to determine the exact value of a. 
Okay, so 0 is going to be substituted in for x and negative 3 in for y. So we're going to have negative 3 is equal to a times 0 minus 1 times 0 minus 3. <clears throat> and that will give us, just simplify it, negative 3 is equal to 3a because these multiply to be 3. Okay, and now divide by your coefficient. Your coefficient in front of the value a is 3. So we have a is equal to negative 3 over 3, which simplifies to negative 1. So there's your value of a. So now we have your value of a. Our factored form is y is equal to your coefficient negative 1, which is a, times x minus 1 times x minus 3, which come from, again, your x-intercepts. <clears throat> so the last question is just a word problem related to the exact same idea. It says a water rocket was launched from the ground. So here's where it was launched from, from the origin. The rocket achieved a height of 45 meters after three seconds and was in the air for eight seconds. So at this point we have, we know it was in the air for eight seconds. So our x-intercepts are zero and eight. And we know that it achieved a height of 45 after 3 seconds. So again, given our x-intercepts, so from our x-intercepts, that gives us information about the factors. We know that our function will be y is equal to a times x plus 0 and x minus 8, because those are the opposites of your x-intercepts. The opposite of 0 is 0. The opposite of 8 is negative 8. <clears throat> and now, this can be our substitution point use any point on the function that is not the x-intercepts as your substitution point. So we're going to substitute the point 345 to determine the coefficient a. We know that it's going to be a negative coefficient because this function opens down. Uh, so 45 in for y, we have 45 is equal to a times 3 plus 0 times 3 minus 8 and just simplify. The bracket simplify to 3 and negative 5. And 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. And if we divide by the coefficient, negative 15, you will get that a is equivalent to 45 over negative 15, which simplifies to negative 3. Okay, so our function here would be y is equal to a coefficient of negative 3 times x plus 0 times x minus 8. And that is how we come up with the factored form of a quadratic function <clears throat> from information. Now, if you're in my class, what you're going to want to do is try this try it problem and get me to initial it.